Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by today. Today's beer is Terrapin Side Project number 11. Uh, I've had this beer probably a couple months. It's been in the refrigerator. This is a Bavarian style Imperial Lager. This is brewed by Terrapin Brewing out of Athens, Georgia. It is a Marzen slash Oktoberfest type beer. It is very potent, coming in at 9% ABV. Usually when they get up to this this much alcohol, they're really, really sweet in the malts and stuff, so uh, we'll see how this one turns out. It is a limited production. They did it once, so this one's over. If you, uh, where you buy your beer, if uh, they don't have it, they probably can't get it. It's probably, I think number 12 is already out now, so... Uh, uh, going moving on, the cuisine will be German with this. Uh, they used all German malts and hops when they brewed this beer, and the Bavarian lager yeast strain so everything is from over there so we'll see we'll see how tasty the beer is uh pint glass is going to be used today uh you could use the mug this time or the becker uh you could probably use anything you wanted to pour it in uh this thing uh beer advocate says it's not recommended for extended salaries but with nine percent i don't think i don't think it's going to hurt this beer so uh Let's get the cap off of it and see what we got. This is a 22 ounce bomber. So if you're not drinking this at home, be very careful. Very strong beer. Get you in trouble. Get all this out of the way. That pours a fairly clear beer. It is an amber color, almost to the color of copper. It's almost copper colored. Uh, very clear. It is a filtered beer. It's straight out of the refrigerator. It is probably around 40 degrees. Uh, very nice looking in the glass. Not a whole lot of bubble string them up from the bottom. But it has a nice half a finger of head. Uh, half and half bubbles. Half small, half large. Let's get a nose on it. A lot of heavy sweet malt there. Wow. Boy, I get the, I get the strong alcohol smell too that comes with these heavy malty beers. Wow. Smells pretty strong. <laughs> Let me give it a taste. Heavy in the malt. You get a little hot presence there, but it's not it's not like the American hops. Uh, it's very subdued. Very Marzen type of beer, but just a little on the stronger side. The Imperial. So this would be your uh, your Oktoberfest on steroids. Uh, <laughs> this is a this is a little high potent Oktoberfest. Fairly tasty. It's not overpowering in that overbearing in the alcohol. For nine percent, it's, it's it's actually fairly smooth. This was an expensive bottle. This is right pricey. I mean, it was it was close to ten dollars. Uh, what this twenty two ounce bomber was. So uh, it was on the expensive side, but it's it, it it costs a little more money to brew these heavier alcohol beers that have a lot of malt and a lot of hops and. Uh, it's a being a brewer myself. I, I know how much it costs to buy these uh, the barley and, and the different types of hops and all that. Plus the time it takes to brew it and all that. So it's a it's it's a it's a time process on on the the, the bigger beers like this right here. They're a little more complex than than the regular beers are. But uh, enough of me flapping my gums again. Uh, I'm gonna let this warm up and we're gonna sip on it just a little bit and 
Stick around. Let's see what the final verdict is on this one. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass here. This is a pretty impressive beer. Uh, it's a pretty strong beer. It's nine percent. Get in trouble with this one. Be very careful with this if you're not drinking at home. You got all the noble hops, all the German malts, and the German style hops going into this. It is very, very good. But it's not for the weak of heart. It is a very strong beer. So, uh, that being said, I'm going to give this an 8 on the scale tonight. Rate beer gives this an 83 overall and a 91 on the style. Beer Advocate gives it a B minus. So, uh, it's not exceptional, but it's definitely above average. So it's definitely a B beer. Uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think of it. If you hadn't had it and, and your supplier still has it, grab it and give it a try. But more likely, if you had not got it yet, you're probably not going to get it because they've already come out with the other one. And uh, As always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next beer review.